Hey there, Bjorkman Benedictson here from Audio Issues, author of Step by Step Mixing. And today we're going to talk about uh, vocals. If you haven't already, uh, please like and subscribe this video and any other video you find from Audio Issues. And if you want my seven step mix translation cheat sheet, go to mixfinisher.com and download it there. So I'm really proud of this track because it is from one of my Insiders members, uh, one of my students, uh, his name is Eric, and he plays in The Promises Hope with his wife, Ash, and they are releasing this track uh, today on June 5th, and I'm super excited to share a little bit of uh, information on um, behind the track because I did mix and master this track, and I wanted to walk you through some of the vocal production that I did in it. The track is called Simon Taylor Denver Cash, and uh, if you... I didn't realize already that's an, hum an homage to some of the greatest songwriters of um, in music history. And it is definitely a beautiful singer-songwriter song that uh, you should all take a listen to. I will have a link to the Bandcamp. Uh, I will have a link to the song on Bandcamp in the description. And please help them by supporting them by buying the song there because today on June 5th is the day where Bandcamp is waiving all of their fees, so all of the money that you buy uh, on Bank, all the money that you spend on Bandcamp today will go directly to the artist. So it's my hope that they can uh, earn a little bit of money from uh, you listening and maybe purchasing the song. And I'm going to show you a few tips and tricks I did on the vocals. All right, so first things first, it is a dual vocal track, so they're singing at the same time most of the time, except for a few different places here where Ash is in um, just by herself. So Eric comes in most of the time, but she has some accents that are just uh, her. However, I like doing just a tiny bit of separation between dual vocals by, doing, by just panning them uh, slightly left and slightly right. In this case, it was 10 to the right and 10 to the left on Eric's vocal, and Eric's vocal is always panned to the left. So uh, because it's it's all he never sings by himself, so it's always just you don't have to automate that. But in Ash's case, I did automate the vocal so that they would be uh, singing uh, on the right side of the stereo spectrum whenever he was singing as well. So I thought that was a it's a cool easy way to add, create a tiny bit of separation between two vocals that should be heard uh, sort of equally. And then the uh, I automated some of the reverb to create uh, a, a slight intimacy at the beginning of the song. So the first verse, she just sings, uh, she just sings here, and the, I have a reverb send here that is all the way down and doesn't enter until the second verse here. So it's very intimate and sort of you know quiet in front of everything and then it sort of opens up with the reverb coming in in the verse and then then actually in this break down part here i actually take the reverb down to accent the emotion of the vocal because as a mixing engineer i think you should all try to uh, use the tools available to enhance the song in whatever way you can and if you can add m emotion to certain parts by either adding or taking out effects, that's a great way to create interest and um, add an extra layer of subtle creativity that will take that song, just, just, just pulls it up a notch. So let's hear that just real quick here. So as you can, as you may be able to hear here uh, from the start, She's singing in the center, and then you it will be imperceptible that it goes slightly to the left, but you'll hear that you can hear both the vocals pretty well. The first time I heard Graceland, my heart fell on the floor. It stole my breath and it shook me to the core. So every Friday night I play it in another crowded bar Cause I think we all need grace No matter how drunk we are Simon 
Taylor, Denver Cash These songs can make me cry But no one's really listening In a dive at ten at night It pays okay and it's hard to say no To a little girl But I'm driving home and I never fell so low all right, so you're going to have to listen to that chorus by going to their Bandcamp page. It is a really, really good song. Probably one of my m favorite songs I heard all last year. Uh, and as you could hear, it was very, very intimate here. Uh, the vocal sounded way in front. Uh, and then Eric comes in, but he, he does have uh, reverb on him. But then when the second verse hits, you can hear how much of the actual vocal, uh, how much uh, extra space there is around the lead vocal. So let's just hear that in solo. It fell on the floor. It stole my breath and it shook me to the core. Simon Taylor, Denver Cash, these songs can make me cry. But no one's really listening in a dive at ten at night It pays okay and it's hard to say no to a little dough But I'm driving home and I never fell so low Still, so, I'm not going to let you hear that chorus. You have to go listen to it on their Bandcamp page. It is very, very beautiful. On this, on this part here, uh, you can see how I'm reducing the vocal um, reverb again just to enhance that phrasing that they have. So let's just hear that in solo. If you ask me if I would, I think that I'd do it all the same. Because if you don't know how to give, then you don't know how to gain. And then on this part here too, uh, it's pretty pretty sweet because you can hear how I really cut the reverb here, and it just sort of creates this intimacy again. And I drove a million miles, and I I wanna come back home, cause applause it cannot save my soul. Applause. It cannot save my soul. And I drove a million miles and I, I want to come back home. Cause applause, it cannot save my soul. Applause, it cannot save my soul. Very cool. So uh, last thing I wanted to add here or talk about is uh, what is that reverb? So he had referenced the Brandy Carlisle song, Mother, that I was, I'm a big fan of Brandy Carlisle, so I was all for that. Uh, and when I listened to that song, I heard this big reverb that also had these little bit of, seemed to have some repeats, so as if it was also a delay. And I have no idea how that was actually done, but what I came up with was just a plate reverb that went into a delay, a stereo delay, and it's only at 50% wet. So the dry vocal is being sent to the reverb, and it's at a three second or so uh, decay, which is pretty big. And then that is diffused, or, or no, not diffused, it's, um, it, it adds a little bit of extra repeats or well, delay to the reverb um, when it goes straight into that. So if you want to hear how, let's find a good spot that isn't the chorus. So here's the soloed reverb. So pretty big, uh, and again in solo here. But no one ever taught me how to wean. And then if you just keep the just keep the reverb on, it changes completely. So I've been working hard for it to live since I was thirteen. But no one ever 
It adds those extra echoes in the background as the, as the reverb decays. And it just increases the perceived space without necessarily getting in the way of the vocal sound itself. And um, it's a really great technique to add extra depth without cluttering up the vocal. So I hope that was helpful. Definitely go check out their song at uh, on Bandcamp. Uh, the song is called Simon Taylor Denver Cash by The Promises Hope. You can also listen to other uh, other songs and records of theirs they have done there. Uh, and go support them. And because today uh, on June 5th, um, the Bandcamp is waiving all their fees, so all the money directly goes to them. All right, I hope you found that useful. Once again, I'm Bjorkman Benedictson from Audio Issues, author of Step by Step Mixing. And remember, use your ears. <laughs> <laughs>